Hi everyone, in this content we will create an application which gets the date distance data from the ultrasonic sensor and send it to the web browser using WebSocket protocol with ESP8266. And also we will create an UI with CSS that shows this dynamic data. So first we will include our libraries. We will use these libraries as you see in the screen and give your SSID and a password for your um, router, for your access point. You can also use as a client or as, as an access point mode, your ASP8266, it depends on you. Given WebSocket minis integer value here, 200 milliseconds, it's the updating and period number. Create a server on port 80 and WebSocket server create and Create a WebSocket content as a const char. Right now, this will be the simple one with an Hello World application. But in the next, we will fill with a JavaScript and a CSS and a HTML code with this. Just an Hello. We will write to screen to test the server is working or not. So we will just create a serial begin and we'll start the Wi-Fi with an SSID and a password. We'll connect as a, a client. Here just give some delay. And mode will be the client, right? Station, let's say Wi-Fi station. I will print the IP address of the ASP8266 to connect from the web browser. We will start on this file server as a website. Now you create a website function. We will send the data every each 200 milliseconds. Every each 200 milliseconds, the WebSocket content we will send as a HTML. And also we will start the server and also WebSocket, right? In the loop also we can write two uh, lines. But this is not necessary right now, WebSocket, but it will be good. Also, we will start the server handle client. These are necessary to call in the loop. So run the application to test it is working or not. Open your serial port screen to get an IP address of the ESP. Then just connect it. As you see, hello is printing and our server is working. Cool. Uh, now we implement the website content with the CSS. First body. And I just create a division named ID with a rectangle. Then I will add some CSS attributes for this rectangle. I use this example for the ruler. You can find it on the internet. Just create a rectangle name. I give 1400 width. I just calculate before you can give whatever you want. And uh, some background size and a minimum height. It will be a good idea. As a 40 pixel. And the ruler will be created by the background image feature for CSS. Then let me show you how we can do it. I just calculate these numbers before. You can calculate yourself. You can change according to your design. It doesn't matter. So let's compile.
There should be dots, not comma, I think 0 0.5, right? This is wrong. Compile again. As you see, just we draw the first lines of the ruler. There are another lines between these lines. Now we will add the labels, the numbers for the rule, ruler. So label I just create as a CSS, right? Then there will be some, some font, right? And it's a good idea to give us some size of this. And padding will be good. Display inline block and width and text indent will be three pixel. Then we add the labels inside this rectangle div. Zero and just let me copy as a 10 instance. Zero, 100, 200, 400, 600, 700, 800 and 900 and 1000. You can give also more, it doesn't matter. This should be font. Yeah, and it's compile again. Refresh the page. As you see, the labels are added here. Cool. So let's draw the smaller lines between these bigger lines using this a uh, background image property like before i copy it right now um, i don't want to implement all of this background image with you it will be a little bit long so you can check the code later but there are another uh, background images to draw these small lines right the idea is same with the linear gradient it is uh, it is used Let's compile again and send the code. Yep, as you see, it's it's likes it likes the ruler, real one. Cool, right? So now we will create some um, identifier, some rectangle to show the dynamic data from the sensor. So I just give a name, a dynamic rectangle, dynamic rectangle. To test, give some width value. We will update this right now. Height and top, you should calculate according to your project, these things. I just give a color as a red. And it will be the minus one index and eight pixel margin top. There is a size between top with the rectangle. Add this uh, rectangle, dynamic rectangle, inside the rectangle division and compile again. And now we will see the red area on the uh, ruler, as you see that. We will update this red uh, rectangle, width of this rect red rectangle, dynamically in the next, according to the data from the sensor. Let's write a JavaScript part right now. We will initialize the WebSocket and get the data as a JSON and parse this JSON data then we will get the data, the distance a value and we'll, we will update the width of this rectangle, red rectangle with the uh, distance value, right? We will create the on message function JSON object we will JSON parse and get the data and we will parse integer JSON object distance. We will create distance in the next, in the main loop. And we will get an element ID. Then we will update the style of the width with the dis distance value as a pixel, right? That is the thing. And na right now we will create, actually, it's a good idea to give a zero pixel here because we will update this in the loop. Okay, these are okay, I think. Let me check. Distance, document, get element by ID. Yes. And go to 
actually this is the width right we will update and go to loop let's first as an example we will create a distance and we will update this dist uh, variable one by one and if it is uh, greater than 1040 then for uh, 400 then just assign to zero again we will send the string value right we cannot send a string uh, integer directly we convert the string and we will add this to the as a json data the notation should be like this otherwise uh, it will create a problem then we will broadcast this json data that is all okay and there is a mistake here actually there should be function I forgot the keyword this should be the function and we have to initialize this at the beginning like this and there is there are more I think this should be I and final one get element by ID L will be the smaller not a capital one a uh, will be smaller here okay let's compile and send the code to the ASP and let's update refresh the page as you see that the red rectangle is dynamically changing right and it's working right now it's cool in the next as I told you before uh, we will get the data from the sensor and we will update dynamically the width of this uh, red rectangle that is the thing so let's do it I will use HASC SR04 a sensor ultrasonic distance sensor and it needs trigger pin and an echo pin 2 and 0 will be here but it depends also you can change it according to your project and you need duration distance variables we will use the milis function to update to get the data in every constant period this period will be 500 milliseconds for me here first uh, we will get actually we have to create a pin mode with an output actually we have to define the these pins right as an output and an input trick pin will be output echo pin will be input then we will get the first start milliseconds with the minis function and we will get the current minis like minis function like the start minutes and we will update every 500 millisecond here we like this we will check every time current minutes minus satart minutes value if it is greater than the period we will read the data from this uh, sensor right this will be the way to read we will write first a trigger pin to low we will make it high after uh, two microseconds then after some time small time like a 10 microseconds then we will write to low again and we will write with the pulse in function from the echo pin we can read here the distance right so we will write also uh, as a we will print also the distance start minutes is okay We can also uh, directly assign the distance to this, but I will make some calibration here because uh, my sensor is a little bit cheap and it's not working properly for longer than 100 meters. Then I just uh, make it 200, actually two, uh, 22, 22 centimeters.
for the maximum value so I just read between 0 and 22 centimeter right I just calibrate the value and I will not directly assign I will increment and then decrement by 1 according to the value here it will um, not change directly and a sharp um, distance sharp change here we will not see we will see smooth change that is why I do it like this if distance greater than the 22 then this is the limit right We can also here put here and delay some delay but uh, delay also will uh, make it stop the websocket right will affect the websocket connection this is not a good idea so this will be echo this is wrong and there are also another mistakes I think this should be distance disdain I just made mistake this should be dist and also this should be this it's okay and now let's refresh the page see now I change the distance between the sensor and the obstacle right now that you cannot see but it doesn't matter the width of this rectangle is changing dynamically right it's, there is a, a smooth change that's cool so guys uh, this is all for me here do not forget to subscribe and see you around.